ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಶಾರದಾ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ರಾಮಾಯ ರಾಮಭದ್ರಾಯ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ವೇದಸಿ ರಘುನಾಥಾಯ ನಾಥಾಯ ಸೀತಾಯ ಪತಗೇ ನಮಃ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಟು ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುದ್ಧ ಕಾಂಡ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀಸಾ ದೆತ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾವಣ ಇನ್ ದ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಟಲ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಡಿಫೀಟೆಡ್ and vibhishana his brother his blood brother who naturally after the death of ravana started lamenting about him seeing his brother defeated lying on the battlefield vibhishana his heart torn with violent grief began to lament saying o illustrious warrior you who were renowned for your skill experience and outstanding courage even among the valiant o oh, you accustomed to a luxurious couch how is a luxurious couch how is it that you are lying stiff and motionless you your long arms adorned with bracelets stretched on the ground having suffered your diadem the luster of which equals the sun to fall on earth o oh, hero that which i predicted has come to pass now carried away by passion in your presumption disregarding my counsel this fate has overtaken prahasta indrajita kumbhakarna atiratha atikaya narantaka and your you yourself alas the rampart of the virtues has disappeared the incarnation of duty has departed the refuge of the strong and powerful is no more the sun has fallen to earth the moon is obscured by darkness fire has lost its brilliance energy is bereft of force since that hero the prince of warriors lies stretched on the earth what remains now that he is deprived of his might and the tiger among the titans lies as if asleep in the dust that great tree the lord of the titans whose stability was a foliage is valor the blossom his asceticism the sap his heroism the intertwining road roots has been overthrown on the battlefield by the tempest raghava that elephant in musta ravana his strength the tusks his lineage the backbone his exuberance the trunk his lat the limbs has been seized by the lion twaku that blazing fire whose prowess and energy are spreading flames his angry breathing the smoke his martial ardor the heat has been extinguished by that cloud rama that bull among the titans with the nairaratas as his tail hump and horns his love for pleasure the eyes and ears he the conqueror of his enemies equal to the wind in swiftness that tiger of the lords of the earth is lying dead hearing these words full of good sense and virtue uttered by vibhishana who was torn with grief rama addressed him saying nay this hero has not succumbed on account of his lack of prowess endowed with burning courage in battle having displayed the greatest energy he fell without yielding one should not mourn for those who form in their duty as warriors for the sake of renown fall on the ba- field of battle it is not the time to weep for this brave warrior the terror of the worlds and their leaders now that he lies under the sway of death no one is always victorious in war sometimes the brave succumb to the blows of the enemy and at other times it is the enemy who is who will overcome by them this path followed by ravana was taught to us by the sages and the warrior class hold it in great honor the warrior who is slain in battle should not be mourned this is the law in this conviction do your duty without further anxiety and consider what action should now be taken 
Then Vibhishana, who was overcome with grief, instantly replied to that noble prince who had spoken to him in his brother's interest and said, This valiant one who in previous battles was never defeated even by the assembled gods under Vasava's command, resiled by you on the field, beheld his power shattered as the ocean when coming in contact with when his, his power shattered as the ocean when coming in contact with its shores. The bestower of gifts on those who desired him, he knew how to enjoy wealth and entertain those who served him. The distributor of treasure among his friends, he suffered his wrath to fall on his enemies. Feeding the sacred fire, he practiced severe penances, was conversant with the Veda and fulfilled his duty as a real hero. Now, with your approval, I desire to perform his obsequies. Touched by these poignant words of Vibhishana's, Rama commanded him to perform the funeral rites that lead the soul to heaven and said, Death has terminated our enmity and now has the, it, there is no reason for its existence. He is as dear to me as to you. Let us therefore perform the obsequies. Thus come to the end, chapter 111 of Yuddhakanda in Ramayana. Namaste Sharada Devi, Kashmira Puravasini, Vamaham Prathaye Nityam, Vidyadhanan Chadehime. Bye.